Hi my lovies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a really fun video because I'm filming a video on the new, oops. I'm going to be talking about these lip kits today for Makeup Revolution. They came out with something like six or seven of them. They're like eight euro each, I think, or something like that. You can buy them from the Makeup Revolution or Tam Beauty website. You can also buy them on Ulta.com. I will link down all the shades that I got and you can pick them up if you so wish. But today is going to be a dupe or don't on these guys versus the Kylie Jenner lip kits. I think everybody knows what the Kylie Jenner lip kits look like, but just in case your memory needs refreshing, this is them and that is the Make Revolution. Now, in regards to the box size, you can see that the Make Revolution one is slightly smaller. So in this lip kit, you get both a lip liner and a liquid lipstick, similar to the Kylie one. Now in this video, I'm not gonna be comparing the shades. I will show you what shades I have in, in the Kylie lip kits to see if any are similar, but it's mostly about the formulation and are they the kind of the same type of product. The Kylie lip kits are about $25 so therefore they're going to be a lot more expensive to get them to Ireland, the UK, wherever because shipping costs and stuff whereas these are like eight euro and they're pretty easy to get hold of if you live near a Makeup Revolution stand or store. So yeah I'm going to put them to the test and see what they're like. Now I did pick up only the three shades because just none of the other shades kind of appealed to me at that time and I just wanted to test them out and see what they were like. So I'm going to tell you what I think of them. So the first lip kit I'm going to be testing today is Noble and it looks like this. So you get a lip liquid lipstick and your lip liner in it. I'm just going to swatch them side by side as well just to show you the shades. To be honest I think this is actually a pretty colour. It's not my favourite of the three. It's more of like a reddy brown if you can see that there. I will compare it to Dolce K just to show you. In the Makeup Revolution one they come with 5.5 millilitres and the Kylie Cosmetics Cosmetics one comes with 3.5 so you are getting more product in the Make Revolution ones if they work well it will just be amazing so this is the color Noble from Makeup Revolution and this is Dolce K and Exposed they're still drying down so you can see that this one here is a little bit more of a red undertone in compared to Dolce K and then Exposed is definitely like more of an orange kind of neutral tone. So in regards to colour, they're not like Kylie Cosmetics, there's no dupes that I own. So I'm just going to take my lip product off now and I'm going to apply that shade onto my lip. The lip liner is really creamy and quite easy to control on the lips, I will say that. So let's see what this looks like. On the lips, I think this applied really, really easy. You only needed one swipe just to get it opaque on the lips, which is great. So you're not using too much product. I think it looks like a really nice color. The one thing I will say that I've given this about five minutes now to dry down. I've kind of just gone around cleaning up here on front of me and let this kind of dry down. But this liquid lipstick doesn't feel like a normal liquid lipstick as in it doesn't dry matte. This is kind of sticky and just look at this. It's like sticking my lips together and find them really hard to pull apart. It's a very weird texture. It kind of reminds me if you put like eyelash glue or something on your lips, not that you would ever do that, but how sticky it is. I'm just not overly keen on that. I prefer them to dry down matte or to be more of a creamy consistency. I don't know, I'm not really overly keen on that. I am noticing it's cracking a little bit already, which I find that a bit weird. It's kind of like cracking off and kind of bunching together and then just up at the top here you can kind of see it seeping into my fine lines on my lips I don't know I'm not overly happy about that and I'll just show you the lip thing as well see that it's quite sticky yeah I'm not overly keen on the formula sorry about that up close and personal into my lips not the most attractive thing ever but you can see what I mean by it my only concerns are that it's kind of glooping in here and separating and kind of seeping into lines I don't really think it should be doing that so I'm going to do a kiss test to see does it transfer not really that much transfer. I'm only getting kind of the lip liner transferring. I feel like maybe if I was eating or something, it would kind of just separate or come off in this area. And some liquid lipsticks do tend to do that, but not a whole lot of them. I will move on to the next color and we'll see what that one's like. The formula is different. These are difficult to get off, guys. Oh my God. It's the consistency of them. They're so sticky. <sighs> 
say a prayer for my lips. They're gonna be dead by the end of this video. The next liquid lipstick I have here is called Echelon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This is the more pinky shade, so I've just taken it out. You get obviously a lip liner and a liquid lipstick similar to the other one. Okay, so we've Echelon here and Coco K, so you can see that there is a bit of a difference. It's not really like Candy K either because it's a bit darker than Candy K. There's a little bit more pink in Candy K. I'm just going to apply this to my lips now and see what this one is like. The lip liner again is very creamy. The liquid lipstick is a little bit of a different shade to the lip liner. It's a bit lighter, but you won't really notice it when they're on your lips. Again, similar to Noble, this is quite opaque in one swipe and I actually really like this shade. I think it's quite nice on the lips. I love the lip liners that come in this kit. I think that they are really, really nice. They're definitely my kind of lip liners because they're creamy and they're opaque and they're really easy to use as well, which I do quite like that. Now, you have the tendency with creamy lip liners for them to kind of bleed along the lines of your lips, so just be careful when you are applying them. User beware. <laughs> okay, again, I've given this a few minutes to kind of dry down on my lips and I'm noticing that it's doing the same thing that the last one did, getting kind of sticky, I mean. I didn't do the lip thing and I still feel like this product is separating a little bit and seeping into my fine lines on my lips I'm not overly keen about because I just don't want them emphasized. I mean, who wants the lines on their lips emphasized? It's just not my cup of tea of a formula. I find that every now and again, my lips are like getting stuck together and they're kind of just bunching around here. It feels like, I just don't really like the formulation, guys. I feel like this is getting flaky over here. I don't know, can you guys see that? It's kind of getting flaky here and then going into my little lines, which I'm not overly, ecstatic about. You can see how the lip liner is a little bit darker than the lip liquid lipstick as well. I'm gonna take this one off and then I will do the final one which is the more brown shade. This, these are impossible to take off your lips as well. You need an awful lot of makeup remover. A lot. So the final Makeup Revolution liquid lipstick I have here is Glory which is the brown one which I'm most intrigued about. Ooh. Quite dark, that's just the lip liner there and I'll just give a little swatch of the liquid lipstick. You can see the liquid lipstick. It is a little bit patchy just swatching on the back of my hand. I don't know, maybe it won't swatch like that on my lips. Who knows? I'm just going to line the lips now again. Obviously I need to open the lip liner. Dark lips are impossible for me to apply. I always apply them messy. So if they're messy, I'm sorry about it. That is what the lip liner looks attractive on my lips. I'm just gonna apply the liquid lipstick now in Glory. Wow, that is super dark. It's almost like a black color. Okay, so that is Glory, which I think is actually my favorite color out of them all. I unfortunately have a few issues with this liquid lipstick. This one was, out of all of them, the patchiest one. And I just feel like when I was trying to get in here, it's kind of crumbling a bit just really really weird it's also not as opaque compared to the other ones where you kind of did one swipe and it covered the lips this needed to be built up and now I feel like I've applied a bit too much feel for me personally this is just a bit too crumbly it's crumbling all around the inside of my mouth already and I'm not even wearing it that long it's looking a bit messy to be honest aside from the fact that I'm not the best person at applying dark liquid lipsticks but you can see how it's kind of patchy here and darker in here and crumbling a bit around my mouth. It just, it shouldn't be like that. I have dark liquid lipsticks from Milani that don't do that. And then look, <sighs> kind of keep sticking together themselves. And as they were sticking together themselves, because you, I mean, your lips touch when you're talking, they're kind of pulling away and they're moving the product. So I think that is a huge issue with the formula, that it is far too sticky and gloopy and it's causing the liquid lipsticks to separate because your lips, it's impossible for them not to like touch off one another when you're talking or drinking or anything like that. And that's my biggest concern. You can even see while I'm talking now, some of the product is coming off in around the mouth. I'm just not overly keen on this formula. 
I don't know, this color is amazing though. Like I really, really like it, but I just wish the formula was better. So for me, this video was a big old don't. This is definitely not a dupe. They're not a dupe for any of the Kylie lip kits in regards to formulation, colors. I knew that the colors were not gonna be the same as the Kylie products, but I thought that perhaps the formula might be the same or that the whole general concept of the products will be the same, but they're just not. This is definitely not as good a liquid lipstick as the Kylie lip kit. You guys know how crazy I am about Makeup Revolution. I absolutely love the brand. I rave about them. I include them in a lot of my videos and I'm not sponsored by them ever, but I just feel like this lip kit is one of their worst products that I've ever tried. They got the formula of the liquid lipsticks just right. This would be an amazing product. The lip liner is divine, I really like it. But they're just not as nice on the lips as the Kylie lip kits. The Kylie lip kits are much more comfortable. They're not as sticky like these. And if I'd known what the formula was like, I would have passed on these. They're just not my favorite. I think the pink one is probably the best. The last one I used, Echelon, that was probably the best out of them all. This is like my favorite color, but probably the worst formula out of them all. I know they're only eight euros, so it's a really good deal. You're getting like a liquid lipstick for four and a lip liner for four euro, but you can get NYX lip liners for three euro and you can get the liquid lipsticks from Milani, which are like my favorite li liquid lipsticks ever. And they're only like six or seven euros. Another euro or two, you can have two much more superior products in my opinion. I hope you enjoyed my two cents on those liquid lipsticks from Makeup Revolution. Definitely not my favorite product from them. If you enjoyed these type of videos, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and click that bell so that you can get some notifications of when I upload. I would love that and yeah, I will talk to you guys all in my next video. I love you guys so 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 much always Mwah. Bye